Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this week's goof video. Now I'm actually really excited about this episode because there's a really bad goof in it. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so at the beginning of the episode, Thomas is complaining to the other engines because he's bored of shunting coaches. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. This causes the other engines to become extremely annoyed with him. And here's where we see the first goof. If you paid close attention at the beginning of the episode, you'd notice that Thomas is right in between Gordon and Henry. But a little bit later, we can see that Henry is now on the opposite side of the sheds. In fact, all of the engines seem to be rearranged. Edward is where James used to be, Henry is where Edward used to be, and Thomas is now in the middle of the shed. Just over 20 seconds in and we've already found four goofs. Later on, Edward feels sorry for Thomas. He offers Thomas his train of trucks and says that he'll push Thomas's coaches for the day. Thomas agrees and is very excited. He then steams away to get some trucks. Now before Thomas had left the sheds, Edward made sure to warn Thomas that the troublesome trucks can be very difficult to work with. But Thomas was too excited to listen. Hang on a minute. Let's back that up. This isn't a goof, but I never noticed this. Do you guys see that the troublesome trucks have mouths? It's very hard to see. I never noticed that when I was little. A little bit later, Thomas gets coupled up to his trucks. And here comes the next goof. And this one is a pretty bad one, guys. The conductor blew his whistle. Wait, what? This guy doesn't have a whistle. All he has is that little green flag. I'm sorry, Mr. Conductor, but you ain't fooling no one. Consider yourself a goof. The conductor blew his non-existent whistle and started off. So as Thomas starts to leave the station, the trucks are already giving him trouble. Wait, Thomas, wait! But Thomas wouldn't wait. Thomas is just too stubborn. He doesn't want to wait. So he decides to pull the trucks, even though they say they're not ready. Along the journey, Thomas continues to go faster and faster. This makes the trucks cross. Weesh, he whistled. At this point, Thomas feels pretty good about himself. He's finally getting to pull some trucks and doesn't have to shunt those silly coaches. Ah, you guys think I missed that last goof. Well, let me go back here and I'll point it out. When Thomas comes out of Henry's tunnel, we can clearly see the track jumping up into the air. <laughs> Now get ready for some really bad goofs. In this next scene, we can see Thomas flying through Eldsbridge Station. In those two seconds of footage, you just saw three goofs. Let's take a closer look. Okay, first of all, I don't care how fast they say Thomas was going. If he were really going this fast, I'd say he'd be going well over 100 miles an hour. And for the second goof, take a look at the top right corner of the screen. Wait for it. Almost there, and... There! Did you see it? For just a fraction of a second, you can see someone's hand flying into the frame. And for the third goof, look at the left side of the screen. The tracks just come to an end. So once again, Thomas is very excited that he's pulling these trucks, but he has no idea what he's in for. And here comes one of the worst goofs that I have ever spotted on a Thomas episode. I mean, I have no idea how this got through. Out for the train. You heard that right, guys. I did no editing on this. At one point, when Thomas is puffing up the hill, we can distinctly hear someone say, Look out for the train. Look out for the train. How could this goof slip through? It is so painfully obvious. The music comes to a complete stop. Look out for the train. Look out for the train. And then it just continues on like nothing ever happened. When I was a little kid, I used to rewind this over and over on my VHS because I just couldn't figure out where that talking was coming from. Look out for the train. Look out for the train. Look out for the train. But anyway, Thomas struggles to go up Gordon's Hill. Thomas's driver warns him that they're getting close to the top, so he needs to prepare himself. And this is where everything goes downhill. <laughs> no pun intended. We're stopping, we're stopping, called Thomas. But the coaches don't want to stop. They want to keep going. Go on, go on. Before Thomas even has a chance to react, the troublesome trucks are pushing him as fast as they can. Stop pushing, stop pushing, he hissed. But the cars didn't care. They were mad at Thomas for the way he treated them earlier. At this point, things are looking pretty bad for Thomas. But fortunately, he's able to veer off into a siding. I must stop. Thomas's buffer beams are black when they should be red. When he opened his eyes, he they appeared pretty wonky. Shortly after the incidents, Sir Topham Hatt has a talk with Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt tells Thomas that he has a lot to learn about trucks. 
Sir Topham Hatt's not discouraging Thomas from pulling trucks in the future, but he wants Thomas to get more familiar with the trucks so that this never happens again. And then Thomas sadly puffs away. All right, guys, those were all the goofs that I found in Thomas and the Trucks. This was a fun episode for me because I actually remembered a lot of these goofs when I was a little kid. Now, as always, if you saw some goofs that I did not point out, please leave a comment below and let me know. Again, thanks for watching this video and have a great day.